Oh, what the f you son of a b just f almost killed the fing address. Let's talk about the dreaded 30k disconnects. For as long as we've had Star Citizen, the 30k era has been with us. A frustrating era indeed. And as a lot of new backers have come into the game over the past year, we see increasingly growing number of people asking why does this error occur why am i getting this error why is cig not doing something to fix it it has happened so much that we have memes upon memes of the 30k error and the issue is this the 30k error is not a single one problem that can be served uh, served that can be solved easily but just today there was a hot fix put in clive johnson cig reporting it uh, server has been hot fixed as he wrote this early this morning uh, before we read about what that fix is let's just backtrack a little bit and uh, this exact question was asked uh, coincidentally last year this time January 21st 2019 the question was how come all this time you CIG are not doing anything about the error 30,000 server disconnects when that happens ship disappear permanently and they have to be reclaimed why aren't you doing anything about it i'd like to know what's going on what's causing all these 30,000 server disconnects a very common question and at the time we had bearded cig answering this question with a very good response here it goes uh, Bearded CIG writes, Error 30,000 happens when something goes wrong with the game client's connection to a game server. Usually, this is a server crash, but it can also be caused by internet outages, problems with the local network. Bearded CIG came in and answered this question at the time, and his response was the following. Error 30,000 happens when something goes wrong with the game client's connection to the game server. Usually, this is a server crash, but it can also be caused by internet outages, problems with the local network, etc. Over the course of game development, we fixed a rather huge amount of these bugs. Most of the server crashes to date have been written by me, since I'm a DevOps engineer. I have access to all the information and admin permissions needed to write the bugs. I've also written more bugs than anyone else in the company. How about tooting your horn there, beat at CIG, as you should. <laughs> In addition to that, I spent time for almost every PTU and live release to calculate how badly server and client crashes are affecting players. Well, obviously they affect us very badly, so that our producers can properly prioritize how much development time is to be spent fixing these stability issues versus other issues that may not be affecting players as much. So it is a complicated issue and the, all the crash reports you submit obviously go to them. They say, how bad is this? How many people are being affected? How much time should we spend to fixing this bug versus doing other things we're tasked to do? That's what he goes on speaking about in that post over there. So jumping forward to today's issue, and uh, this was posted uh, on January 1st by Shadow2546. And this is an interesting post to go on Spectrum because for once, it's not about complaining that uh, he's getting too many 30Ks. This gentleman or lady right here posted complaining that he or she is not getting enough 30K, uh, which is refreshing. So Shadow2546 saying, I don't have 30K issues like all the other posts claim they are having. Why am I alone? All right, so why is this individual not getting crashes? Just the other day, I was doing the Idris mission with a bunch of people from my org, and we were getting close. The Idris was down to about 20% hull. I crashed. I said, guys, server crashing, and I crashed. No one else crashed. Why did it happen to me and no one else? Obviously, I could not get back in. Server was full, and I missed out on the fireworks of it. It is very, very frustrating. So why is it I crashed, but no one else did in that instance? I would like to know. Well, we don't get the exact answer, but um, Shadow2546 goes on to say that... Uh, he doesn't get a ton of these issues. He wants to know why. Vendor screens work fine. He can spawn ships no problem. Moby Gloss works fine. Rarely that is surprising and the QT map works. Also shocking to me because I have all those problems. He has a business class ISP. He has 100 megs uh, down, 25 up. Uh, and he has an average of 50 FPS live up to 70 in PTU. So obviously quite a monster rig to get the kind of frame rates. But it's becoming more and more standard we see these days as uh, 3060s, 3070s start becoming more regularly used. And also all the new latest AMD CPUs are just simply kicking ass uh, as far as frame rates go in this game. I am past due for my upgrade. I'm still waiting to get 
uh, the latest AMD GPU. They've been sold out for some time. I digress. My rig is 12 core, 32 gigs of RAM, NVMe, SSD, RTX 8 gig GPU. Uh, it's funny how this is all becoming pretty standard these days. I love it. Uh, it is great to see. I see an average of 30% CPU use and the 80 to 100 GPU and never crack uh, 20 gigs in the game. Uh, so pretty beefy rig and good connection. Um, so let's see. The response from Clive Johnson was this. I am glad you are having relatively few 30,000 disconnect problems. Staff will begin returning from the holidays, myself included, from the uh, holidays on Monday the 4th, which is today. I will spend some time investigating whether the difference in frequencies, which the back has experienced 30 Ks, is merely random server crashes or a symptom of another issue affecting some clients more than others. So Clive Johnson is not wasting any time at all. January 2nd saying he'll be back at work on the 4th. Today is the 4th at 5.17, my time anyway. He responds, I am happy to report we have found the problem. Bravo. And live servers are being hot fixed as we write this. So why are some people disconnecting and other people not? Well, he says, in this particular case, 30Ks are being caused by not by server crashes, but by an incorrectly set timeout triggered during periods of high bandwidth usage, such as initial connection or while streaming areas from the server. When combined with sufficient packet loss or bandwidth throttle connection, this could result in the timeout being triggered and as a result, 30K disconnection. So another bug causing a 30K squashed right there. Now, I don't think I've been affected by this particular one, but at least they have managed to identify something. And uh, every single bug counts, so another one in the bin, not needed to be uh, researched anymore. They found the problem. My thanks to everyone here helping me raise the alarm. Essentially, the bug would occur at random and unfortunately was not frequent enough to be spotted while the build was still in PTU. And this speaks volumes about the, uh, the state of Star Citizen and the way things are run here in that being in alpha and putting the PTU out and getting you in there just to play the game, these small, not very frequently occurring bugs get to be identified. And these are issues which in any other normal game development process would probably not be found. If you're playing Cyberpunk and you're suddenly crashing a desktop, why? Who knows why? They have no way of knowing because there's so many different variations on rigs, so many different variations of possible things you've done in the game. There's absolutely no way Cyberpunk can squash the bugs at the rate at which CIG does. So bravo to the CIG team. Another bug squashed. Great thing to see first thing uh, as you all get back to work. And uh, with that, let's wrap it up, guys. If you enjoy my content, you know what to do. Your thumbs up. I appreciate it. Comments below. Subscribe if you like it. I'll catch you in the next one.